So the question is, two vessels A and B of different shapes have the same base area and are filled with water up to the same height H. The force exerted by water on the base is Fa for vessel A and Fb for vessel B. The respective weights of water in the vessels are Wa and Wb. Then, what are my options? Fa greater than Fb, Wa greater than Wb and so on. So basically we have to figure out what is the relationship between Fa and Fb and what is the relationship between Wa and Wb. Alright, perfect. Now if you look at these two liquid columns, the pressure at this point or the pressure at the bottom, what would that depend on? Alright, we know that that pressure is going to be rho gh and I'm talking about pressure only due to the liquid column. Okay, because on top of that, the atmospheric pressure would be the same. Okay, so that pressure at the bottom is given by rho gh. What does it depend upon? The density of the liquid, acceleration due to gravity and the height of the liquid. Now, if we compare A and B, what are the things which are same? What are the things which are different? Absolutely, all the three things are same. The density is the same because it's water in both the containers. Acceleration due to gravity is obviously going to be the same and we have taken the same height. What does it mean? It means that the pressure at the bottom of vessel A and the pressure at the bottom of vessel B is the same. Now what is force? Force is given by pressure times area. Okay, And we have been given that the base area of both A and B is given. So the pressure is the same, the area is the same, so force has to be the same. So the force A, which is the force exerted by the water column on the container A bottom is the same as force B. Alright, so first part of the answer we have calculated. Now the question is what about weights of liquid or weights of water inside these vessels? Okay, now the density for water is going to be same for both the containers. Now by just simply looking at the picture, you would know that the volume of vessel A is greater than the volume of vessel B. Why? Because the height is the same, the height is the same, but this vessel is has a greater cross section as we go up, right? So volume of water in vessel A is going to be greater than volume of water in vessel B. Hence, the weight of water in vessel A is going to be greater than the weight of water in vessel B. So I can write WA greater than WB. Hence, we have arrived at our answer. Now we're going to have a look at the options and option B is going to be my right option. Select the correct statement. Barometer is used to measure atmospheric pressure. Manometer is used to measure gauge pressure of a fluid inside a container. So we have to figure out if option one or option two or both of them are correct or none of them are correct. All right. So the first statement is pertaining to barometer. Now we know that very well that barometer is used to measure atmospheric pressure. How do we use a barometer? So let's say the pressure at this point is going to be the atmospheric pressure. Okay. There will be certain height of the mercury column. Now we know that for a static fluid, the pressure in the same liquid at the same level is going to be the same. So if we talk about the point over here, the atmospheric pressure is going to be equal to the pressure at this point because these two points are at the same level. And the pressure at this point is because of the height of the mercury column that is above it, right? So barometer is used to measure the atmospheric pressure and in this manner, okay? What is a manometer? So manometer is basically a U-tube and through one of the tubes, a gas contained in the vessel is there, okay? So it is used to measure the gauge pressure of gas. So what will happen? There will be some pressure of the gas, okay? So the pressure at this point will be the pressure of the gas. Now here, let's say this difference in height of this liquid column is H, okay? So the pressure at this point is going to be P0 and the pressure at this point will become P0 plus rho g h. Okay. Now what do we know? For the same liquid at the same level, the pressure is going to be the same. So the pressure of the gas will become P0 plus rho g h. Okay. Now 
by looking at this YouTube and comparing, we can measure the height. We would know what liquid is it. So rho GH is something we can find out. And this is going to be the gauge pressure because the total pressure is equal to atmospheric pressure plus gauge pressure. All right, so this is how we calculate the gauge pressure from a manometer. And if we know the atmosphere, we can add it to the gauge pressure and find the pressure of the gas. That is the basic idea behind both these instruments. So naturally, what should be my answer? Both the statements one and two are correct. So the question is, the pressure of the confined air in the right leg is P1. If the atmospheric pressure is P, then, okay. So basically we have to compare P and P1, which is going to be greater, which is going to be smaller. That's what we need to figure out. Okay, so due to air, and this is confined, as in this is sealed. So the pressure at this point is going to be the pressure due to air, which we are calling P1, okay. Now if we come over here, the pressure at this point will be because of two things. One is the atmospheric pressure plus the height of the water column. Can I say that? Perfect. And in a static liquid, at the same level, inside the same liquid, the pressure is same. That is a concept we already know. So can I say that this pressure over here, which is P1, should be equal to the pressure over here, which is going to be the atmospheric pressure plus rho GH. What does it mean? It simply means that P1 is going to be greater than P. All right. Now let's have a look at the options. So naturally option B is going to be my right answer. In a hydraulic jack as shown, mass of the car is 800 kg. A1 is 10 cm square, A2 is 10 m square. The minimum force F required to lift the car is. All right, this is a hydraulic jack. And what is the principle behind, behind hydraulic, hydraulic jack? That the pressure transmitted is same across the entire fluid. Okay, what does that mean? That the pressure at this point and the pressure at this point is going to be the same, okay? So can I say that the pressure at this point is going to be the force applied divided by area one, that is the pressure over there. And the pressure at this point is going to be the weight of the car, which is essentially the force applied there, divided the, by the area at that particular point, correct? So F by A1 is equal to W by A2. We know that very well, this is Pascal's law. And hence, F will be equal to A1 upon A2 into W. Okay, now let's do the substitution. What is A1? A1 is 10 centimeter square. A2 is 10 meter square. 10 centimeter square. What does it mean? It means that this is going to be 10 into 10 to the power minus 4 meter square. Divided by, we have 10 to the power 4 meter square. Let me check that one second. Oh, that's 10 meter square. I'm sorry. That should be simply 10 meter square multiplied by the weight, which is the mass times the acceleration due to gravity. All right, this 10, this 10 gets cancelled. And this will become 8000 into 10 to the power minus 4. And hence, this will come out to be 0 0.8 Newton. All right, and that should be my answer. Now let's have a look at the options. So option B is going to be my right answer. A uniform tapering vessel is filled with liquid of density 900 kg per meter cube. The force that acts on the base of the vessel due to the liquid excluding atmosphere pressure is, all right, so this is the vessel it is like an inverted bucket. And then we have to find out what will be the force at this point. All right, perfect. So for that, what do we need? We need to find out what will be the pressure at the bottom. Okay, so the pressure at the bottom would be equal to the atmospheric pressure plus the pressure due to height of this column of liquid. But we have been asked to neglect atmospheric pressure. So simply the pressure will become rho GH, which is the pressure due to this column of liquid. 
perfect which means that this is going to be rho what is the value of rho given to us that is 900 kg per meter cube multiplied by the acceleration due to gravity and what is the height the height is 0 0.4 meter again the pressure at a depth does not depend on anything else it just depends on rho g and h and obviously we're talking about the fluid at rest okay so this is going to come out to be 3600 pascal okay now we have found out the pressure what is the area this is the area which means that the force is going to be pressure times area and that is going to be 3600 multiplied by the area which is 2 into 10 to the power minus 3 so this is going to give me 7.2 newton and that should be my answer pretty straightforward question what is the option that would be correct option b is going to be my correct option